Hi, welcome to the Fall of Anne Boleyn uh, playlist um, where I'm giving you information uh, for each day that counted down that led up to the execution of Queen Anne Boleyn on the 19th of May 1536. It's incredibly bright here, but I'll try to carry on without squinting too much. I uh, can't complain about the beautiful weather. If you don't know me, I'm Claire Ridgeway. I run the Amberlynn Files website and I've also written a few books on Amberlynn and the Boleyns, including The Fall of Amberlynn, a countdown, which goes into a lot of detail on the events leading up to her execution and includes things like biographies of the main uh, people uh, that were part of the fall. Okay. By this day in 1536, so by the 8th of May, Queen Anne Boleyn, Mark Smeaton, Sir Henry Norris, Sir Francis Weston, William Brereton, George Boleyn, Lord Rochford, Sir Richard Page and Sir Thomas Wyatt had all been arrested and imprisoned in the Tower of London. And that's it. There were no further arrests in the fall of Anne Boleyn, but all of those people were prisoners in the Tower of London. Now, their arrests were a shock to people at the royal court. You know, all of this was a huge shock. Um, but some people got over their shock uh, quite quickly and decided that uh, the time was right to make their move on the possessions of these prisoners because, you know, these men, these men were going down. They didn't have any need of their offices, titles, lands and property. You know, all of this stuff surely was up for grabs. So rubbing their hands with uh, glee, and there we have the bells ringing out for them. The church bell tower does like to guess it's a few seconds of their fame. So rubbing their hands with, with glee, uh, some courtiers, people like Lord Lyle, who was in Calais at the time, but was being kept up to date on events by his servants in London, uh, people like Richard Staverton of Berkshire, and then also the King's illegitimate son, Henry Fitzroy, Duke of Richmond and Somerset. They all set about writing letters to try and get their hands on the prisoners' grants, offices and lands. I mean, these prisoners had not even been tried yet. They were simply prisoners. They'd been arrested. They had not gone to trial yet. They had not been found guilty yet. But you had to move quickly at the Tudor court. Um, as Henry Fitzroy found out, actually, when the stewardship of Banbury, which um, had belonged to Henry Norris, which he desperately wanted, couldn't actually be obtained by him because by the time he'd written his letter requesting it, it had already been given to Thomas Cromwell. So even acting this quickly wasn't quite quick enough. Reading these men's letters not only gives you a horrible taste in your mouth, but it reminds me of vultures circling you've got these people i think i've said it before in an article as well about like the soldiers casting lots for for christ's clothes it's just so distasteful these people haven't even gone to trial yet and you've got these these vultures clamoring over the spoils trying to get their hands on on these people's possessions trying to make the most of another person's uh downfall and it's just absolutely horrible I'll give you a link to read the letters that they wrote so you can see what they were after um, because I wrote an article uh, quoting from these letters on the Amberlynn files so you can read them for yourself. Okay, well, that's it for today. I'll be back tomorrow with some more uh, 
information on the fall of Anne Boleyn from May 1536. I do hope that these videos are giving you um, some insight into what happens in the fall of Anne Boleyn and just how quickly and dramatically she fell. It was super, super quick. It was brutal. It was awful and I don't believe that any of them uh, you know, had any hope of justice. I'll be with you tomorrow, but you can subscribe to the channel by clicking there. There are On This Day in Tudor History videos for you to enjoy as well, and other videos about Anne Boleyn and the Boleyns. Uh, you can hit the bell to be notified as well. Take care. See you soon. Bye-bye.